hello everyone welcome to my video in this video we're going to be looking at service accounts so what are service accounts and why do you need them now think of a scenario where you need to actually interact with your kubernetes resources like pods nodes deployments replica sets whatnot from inside a kubernetes pod right you know you might have to do that when you're setting up your CI CD pipeline and the pipeline might create a pod which manages your deployments right your application deployments or you might have a pod which manages the node maintenance operations in your cluster so here I have a, a command kubectl get SA, SA stands for uh, service accounts and there's a couple of accounts in my cluster. This default account comes as part of the installation. So this my SA account is the one that I created a couple of, a couple of days ago and you will also see that for this default account there's a default token which is stored as a secret in the Kubernetes cluster and there's a my SA token which is stored as a secret in the same Kubernetes cluster. So these are automatically created when you uh, create a service account. So let's go ahead and create a simple service account. So I'm going to call it new SA account. Okay. So if I run this command again, you will see that I have this new service account. And if I run this command to get or the list the secrets, you will get new SA token some alphanumeric character right so this was automatically created so I'm going to create a pod and I want this pod to be able to authenticate with the Kubernetes APIs and I want to run some commands inside the pod to list the pods that are running inside this cluster so what pods do we have inside this cluster we have a couple of deployments uh, or pods that came from deployment so and that's it right and if you look at my pod yaml this yaml file it looks like any other yaml file nothing fancy but you have this based on uh, nginx image and I'm gonna call it test pod actually then the only thing that's different is the service account that I want to associate with this pod. Okay, so basically this service account will be associated with this pod and I'll tell you how. So let's go ahead and create this pod by running this command and then I'm going to describe this pod. and somewhere in here you will see that there is a file system that is mounted using the secret remember we saw that a secret was created when we created this account so that is actually mounted as a file or a, a directory inside this pod okay like if you go to this path inside this pod then you will see that. So let's go ahead and do that actually. So kubectl exec minus it test pod and I want to have bin bash cell sorry uh, shell. So now let me actually just do a, a ls of this directory and that will show all these files which contain the, the token information and certificate information that we need to uh, basically interact with the Kubernetes APIs. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to actually uh, just copy the token inside a uh, environment variable from this file so cat is just a command to actually just print the contents of this file and then I'm storing all that inside this environment variable right 
so then I'm going to be running this command which is basically going to pass this token and then it's going to interact with this Kubernetes cluster using the service name right and I expect this to fail because obviously this service account does not have access to this pod actually or uh, access to any Kubernetes resources so that's what this is saying the new SA account does not have access it's forbidden to access this particular uh, URL right so now why do I put HTTP Kubernetes it's because I have a service called Kubernetes that is created as part of ins installation again and that is available for these kinds of pods to use actually it's like any other service like an application service okay so now what, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a role especially for this uh, service account so I'm going to show you how the role looks in this role I am just saying like I want to be able to run these actions or these verbs against this resource so I'm just just want to be able to get list and watch pods right now let me go ahead and create the role so that's done I want to associate this role with my service account so this is the service account and this is the role that I'm actually referencing in this role binding so we need to create a role binding right where we bind a, a set of accounts with roles right so let's go ahead and create this role binding okay so I've created this role binding now so all I want to do is just get into that pod and run the same commands that I ran before let's see if we can access the Kubernetes API from this pod right so I copied the token into a variable and I am running a curl command to access that particular path and obviously this path is still not accessible because the the role or the, ro the role and the role binding that we created is only to access the pod URL so the pod URL is a specific URL and I will show you how it looks and you can get all that from the Kubernetes documentation I'll show you where it is so you see this is how the pod URL looks so it's basically all this and and followed by the token information right and now we are able to get some output out of this curl command right so if we want to just grab the pod names from the output I'm going to use this utility and and now we just parse this JSON um, and then we are able to just retrieve just the pod names and as we saw before we have a couple of pods which are created by deployment that I did before and the test pod that I just created so that actually kind of you know it proves that this pod is able to access Kubernetes APIs right if we try to access any other resource it will not work that's pretty much it so this is how actually you use service accounts now from this pod you can do node maintenance operations or you want to do deployments of your application and things like that as we mentioned before I hope that was useful